Hey folks, welcome back to Ostrov. Yep, there it is. The farm. The farm that has generated all of the comments lately on how to fix the farm. <laughs> I'm not too worried about it, folks. I'm really not. If we lose a crop, we lose a crop. How are we doing over here? Still have our five that wants to be employed out here. I went through every work building in the place and took a, a look at the settings and eliminated quite a few of the laborer jobs here and there. I'm going to pause for a second. This says we have one person, one man looking for a job and that is it. You click here, it says looking for a job, five women and two men. So I suspect that this is looking at it from a different point of view. There's this many people, but from this point of view, they are all taking a break right now and not actually actively looking. I'm not sure. But we've got unemployed over here, market stall, cow shed. Things looking good through there. Unemployed. Okay. So folks over here looking pretty good. That's two unemployed and that is all. Okay, that's good. Um, that, the big issue, of course, is getting them to work all the way over there. And that's really what it all comes down to. But I have shifted labor around to try to get more over here. Still only two are taking the jobs. Um, as far as men. Let's see, this one over here, I've taken it down to three because I'm pretty sure they are still going to work, waiting for a partner to get a log. So they're still willing to take down some of the logs over here, just fine. You guys, just one over here making firewood, basically. We've still got people doing our charcoal just fine. Right there, yeah, that's all happening. Um, I turn the brickworks back on for a couple of guys and start getting some more bricks made. We have gone through some with the barber uh, surgery and quite a few are going into the soap works down here. We have unemployed people over here even though there's jobs over there. Meaning over here is where they live. Over here is where they can reach a job. Over there is not. So that area is just going to fail for a while, and that's just that's the way it's going to be. So not going to worry so much about it. I took some labor out of here since we were not depending on the lie quite so much. I mostly just wanted to see the uh, the process happen, and it was really interesting to watch that that all go in. We're down to 7,500 here now, so we've used up a quarter of it, and never did get our second person working in here. But we are coming to the end of the season. Fishing is going to stop here pretty soon. And boats are doing what? Boats are in good shape. Okay. So maybe take that down. And we do have labor supplying uh, lumber over here. So we could shave that off. Take you, you guys out of here. Um, I think I already did in both of the fishing docks yeah so they'll go over there if they want to go over there one did Frasina and we'll just see how this goes got a bunch of ladies coming to work now uh, threshing threshing instead of harvesting now that's interesting so maybe there is a point at which they will no longer go out into the fields so she is working inside the building now instead of out here harvesting. So maybe that is the end of the harvest. The end of anybody willing to try. Working on a field. Okay, well, there's one. Threshing, threshing, threshing buying food. Did I do that? I think I did accidentally. Anyway, so one person's coming to work on the field. So let's speed this thing up. Move on to whatever is next. And this music keeps going either a little bit too high or a little bit too low. 
You guys can't hear the difference, but I can. I don't play with uh, headphones on. I like to hear the sound around me coming from all directions. And it's hard to speak into the microphone through headphones. It just feels weird. So we're waiting for another worker to come to get another round of all this going. Um, I turned the laborers off on these, on quite a few of the buildings. With two guys, one can be working, one can be bringing supplies. So that is a thing. Um, same thing could be said for here. Though, I guess here as well. This one, we just don't have enough materials to make anymore. So this one's going to come to a halt as soon as the warm clothes are done. Which by then, maybe we'll have more uh, ingredients for textiles. We'll have to wait and see. Um, the dock, at least this one, I want to leave on. Laborers. When we get an order, I want all hands on deck to get everything down to supply that order. So I'm leaving that on. And the carters are still uh, moving things about. Uh, looks like all oh, coming out with clay, so they're they're still supplying to some of these uh, building sites. I went ahead and moved these houses up in the list, hoping that they can find a way to work in in the community. But okay, now we've got a few more. We're at the end of November. Do we still have slow down anybody employed over here? Curious. Nope, you've all found work as laborers. Those that were unemployed. There's one. Just one. So, where are you right now? You are buying food. So let's watch and see what happens. When she gets home, and let's see, how can I find her again? So she's... Coming down the road over here. I want to click to see if anybody else hired on. Nobody did. Okay. So what is going to happen to her when she is no longer buying food? Speed you up. Do you jump back in as a laborer? Are you here? Looking for a job. Three women. Okay. And you're still you're still selected. So let's see what hap what the game does when you get there. And I don't know what you were buying. Oh, you were coming home and the, your next job is buying food. Now you're actually buying it. You picked up some flour. Okay. Dropping off the flour. You're going to go find a nearby park bench. I don't know how it determined that park bench versus this one. Maybe that was the closest park bench when it triggered once she bought that food for her next job. Could be. And she may have a timer here somewhere. Unemployed still. Snow is coming down. And now you're supplying more resources. So you're just not trying to, to get a job. Interesting. So, and we have plenty of jobs out there. There's no doubt about that. So family... Wealth is 60, is about 60. So these have all just vanished. That is all we're getting out of there. And this was. Uh, let me see here. I'm trying to remember what was in this field. So that would be. Buckwheat? I mean, what is that graphic that reminds me of hemp? I guess it is the, the sheaves of buckwheat. The buckwheat harvest right there. Okay. So, and all these workers went away because we normally shut this down for the winter. Okay, and just take care of the uh, of the animals. I see. Okay. So, let's see if she ever comes out on her own. She is taking a rest and cleans up the rest of these on her own. She's also going to do some more of the of the threshing in here for the season for the end of the season. Anyway, so with that, she is now a laborer and is... So laborer carrying charcoal from or to, to the 
warehouse from one of these sites here probably okay so they will still find work that's one thing i'm mostly worried about is shutting down so many laborer jobs and just having the workers do it that's how a lot of these laborers were able to keep the household running and have some income come in was to have all these jobs available so is the charcoal enough to keep them going that i don't know i have a feeling by this time next summer you know something like you know summertime before we get into selling all of the the garden crops we're going to find a lot of houses barely getting by or maybe needing a handout by shutting down so many laborer jobs so be curious to see if that is the case anyway slow down marifa is there anything we need to do with you you were the last ones over here so we still have salt that we're selling you 1678 and you already have it so you that was the cart that just came in and left okay so let's see hemp wheat honey uh textile we could buy textile just to keep the clothes going we don't have sell clothes in here to know what we sell it for textile coming in is that's 20 that's quite expensive so probably not warm clothes buckwheat they will buy flour do we want to sell our flour right now we could we're, we're at 1600 we're doing pretty good in the treasury so it's it's not that critical it really comes down to is the flour getting close to uh, to rotting and it's not there's 200 right there it's in great shape you guys the rest are out in here and they're all brand new okay so we don't have a need to get rid of the flour um, world map flour silo chicken eggs you will buy more salt you will buy only 354 not really worth the effort okay so let you guys go and what next do I need to be concerned about don't know I am curious to see how the soap works works so I'm gonna let that one continue we'll get these other two houses in what's the third house village house house oh we've cleared a, a building spot okay well in that case let's move that up I put the other ones in just to give them something to build because everything else has got trees still well good I cleared out one space and hopefully somebody will be out dropping trees in this place soon um how are we doing we got three guys out here now good taking a rest chopping logs for firewood and going to work okay now that you're here there we go help getting a log which we're waiting for taking a rest to be done yep how you guys doing uh, right there so you're working working and going to work so nobody's taking logs down you're just cleaning up old logs and turning them into firewood when, when we need it planting a tree oh okay there's a good job for you there's a lot of trees sitting out there waiting to be planted so well, that's good to see now I was asked about benches over here that's the second time I put them in they're here but they're just they're burying into the ground here and I'm not sure why that is but that's another discussion that came up in the comments I've got benches at all the different work sites and I almost never ever see anybody sitting at them when someone comes in and works they they do their job whether it's let's see what happened here what are you doing you are a laborer you are going to what you must be picking up supplies because i thought i've turned off laborers here so you're a laborer for somebody else and you're picking up another one you are laborer supplying resources you're all picking up lime it looks like what are you doing you are moving quick lime over okay so she's picked up some lime she's picked up some lime he's getting quick lime to go take over here because we because he's a carter isn't he 
He is supplying resources. He works for the Lime Works. Uh, okay, he's one of these dudes. Okay, so she is off to go deliver probably out here. Ah, to the warehouses. The warehouses are still turned on as far as labor. So that you know, we don't have to hire people to run the warehouses. We could be one worker versus a, a number of, of laborers, but eventually you're going to get to the point to where the ladies have nowhere to work. Except for sowing and harvesting. And there's nothing left. And pretty soon you're going to have a whole bunch of people with uh, that have got zero money in their household. So you can only take this so far down. Um, storage is full by 60. Yeah. So you could be, in that case, taken down to 4,000. And that won't happen again. Okay. And we have no more cows to butcher. So when these runs are done, uh, we can go ahead and let these guys go for a while. We will, we've seen the process, That's that was my goal, but I'm pretty sure that 14 out of 20, well, we'll see. We'll let that go for a while, see how that goes. I don't think there's anybody, oh, there's still one person in the uh, slaughter house. So, Matzo, where are you working these days? You used to be there. Uh, you are, no, you're at the tannery, and you are still there. Okay. Okay. So what else is going on? The town pretty much runs itself. I'm just the referee. <laughs> All right, so you guys are doing your thing, making lime, which eventually never seems to get dropped into here. It always gets hauled off to somewhere else, which shouldn't happen anymore now that I've turned it down in that other warehouse. So they really should be Deliver, dropping off here, but don't even need to do that, really. I've got a lot of storage capacity sitting over here. How are you guys doing, speaking of storage capacity? We are at 10, so we're done there, and we're done there. We've actually maxed it out. Um, I could kick this up like so, and let that one worker just make a bunch of long trips. There he goes. And then eventually we get back to this when there are more there's more need for jobs, you know, men jobs over in that area. Right now, they all seem to be doing a pretty good job, except that, you know, there, this area would have supplied the fishing jobs. So, forestry, trading, dock, laborer. So, he's dropped into laborer. Okay, two of them have. Cart shed, smithy, lime works, salt works, laborer, that's three. Windmill, fishing dock. So the one person that's left to salt for the winter and salt works. So three men that used to be at one of these two fishing docks, yeah, fishing docks, have jumped into laborer positions to do other things for a while. And of course, this is all done now. She did bring them in and she's going to spend her winter. She's done. All the threshing is finished, so she's just going to spend her winter making sure that the uh, the oxen make it through. Same things over here, right? Yeah, one person here. Okay. And that is all done as well. So we've got 2,100 wheat in there. Do we have any wheat left out over here? I have another 700 over here. So we got wheat coming in really well now. We've got enough to keep these guys employed, probably continuously. Yeah, seasonal hiring is off now. So we'll have a crop of wheat every single year from here on out. Uh, over here, we, we were supposed to have sunflower every single year. Eventually, we'll get there. So we are working on this now. I had pulled a couple of workers. We're not. We're over here. Okay. A couple of workers off of the builders so that we'd have more men available to make sure that this is hired. And we have men back over there, three of them unemployed, working as laborers, and they can't take these jobs. So they're just too far away. So really, that's what it comes down to. It's a distance thing. 
So we'll get these guys finished and they will just fill in his laborers here and there and until there's more to do. Eventually we will see a smithy job come in. I'm thinking the smithy, let's see if we're looking at putting the fishing dock here then the smithy you are where right there I think you could go in probably like right there the I'm guessing the fishing boats can't go past either but there's plenty of room in here for that fishing dock to take the right side there there's plenty of room for this fishing dock to take from here out to there so I think that's a good place for the smithy and once we start getting the the iron ore coming in from over here dropped into the smithy dropped into into storage messenger for from Dakachi. okay let's see what you've got for us you buy our charcoal and you need seven thousand we have ten thousand here so let's do that sell all seven thousand of that so there's 350 coming in that brings us up to two thousand nice shoes there's 500 sitting here there's 1900 in town okay let's do the 500 no let's do the 1000 deal and let's I guess kick this up to a thousand we're able to keep up with it now rather than making a temporary order Okay, so shoes, 500 is on their way in. So one of these guys supplying, there he goes. Going to grab a cart and get working on that. World map, so shoes, buckwheat, charcoal, sunflower oil, oil never happened. Though there is some over there in the, in the second farm. Just waiting for it to get moving. Clothes are still a, not a thing right now. We didn't get a hemp or um, flax crop in this year that's why um honey no nah, that's just for the town apples all right so anything we want to buy how is sallow doing for throughout the town i never see it when i look for it here like it sells just as fast as we go you've been emptied great let's tear you down open that space up again grab the building materials out of it so Sallow comes right in and goes right into the houses and there isn't any. So they are willing to buy it just as fast as we can bring it in. Cool. Right there. Let's just keep adding to our food variety. World map. Let's bring in 500 Sallow this time. The town can absorb it. And that's what I'm here for. Um, leather coming in. Let's do that each time. Deal. Bring you in. And we had enough other sales to more than make up for that. Uh, lime coming in. No, I'm pretty sure we've got already quite a bit in storage. And, of course, we're making our own now, so we should be fine. Uh, metal parts, pigs, cows, horses, dried fish. I think we're fine, though. I'm curious what dried fish is looking like right now. Dried fish 200. So that should be enough to get us into next year. So you are doing what? You're just kind of sitting there getting a free ride right now. Um, unfortunately, I can't. You are done with your job too. I can't manipulate seasonal hiring to have one person in the off season for two months to finish off salting everything and then have two months of nobody or zero there isn't a third option in here so if i switch him off then there'll be nobody next november or december to finish it if i don't remember to bring him back in so i'm going to leave him right there you are having a problem getting this moved out because i took off the uh the uh laborers Mm hmm so now we're gonna start seeing other problems you are let's see this and yeah, nobody's picking it up I have somebody here calling for it we're, we're asking for a thousand we only have 270 we're waiting for 180 so that happened here no not leaving and not leaving 
So where's the 180 coming from? We haven't bought flour in a long time, so there's none down here. Now, that's interesting. So, you? Supplying, so that must be you there. And you are... Not sure. So if I click on you, you're carrying fish. And if I click on you, you're dealing with salt. So what is the 240 coming in? If it's not coming from you, there's no down arrow. And it's not coming from you, well, there's 60 leaving. Interesting. Don't know that answer. But you're full. <laughs> You're full. So let's just tell a carter to get that done so we don't have to wait for it. 500. Send to here. And 500 is on its way. Great. Okay, so that was there. What's happening over here? We're still waiting for this. And we're going to be waiting for some time, so we'll just ignore that. Okay, turn you back up. That was all I needed from Dracachi, right? They are selling salt. Yeah, so I think that is all we're needing there. Okay, that's fine. So, something I had meant to do quite some time ago and then just kind of forgot all about it with with the uh, the drama of the of the second farm. I think this would be a great place for our tavern. I think so. Now it doesn't, if I remember right, it doesn't function until 200 uh, population, but I think that would be a great place for it. It's over here looking like a house. So if you're trying to figure out where the tavern is, it's this guy right here. It does feel strange to be here and not, I don't know, with health? Maybe health and entertainment, decoration. Yeah, there really isn't a good category for it. Anyway, you, I think, would be here. And exactly where, I don't know. I'd like for it to, to face into here. It could, I guess. It just feels like it should be looking up our road here. It should be right there. Turn that a little bit more like that. So kind of see the tavern as you turn toward the, the gable here, the, the archway into the park. To do that, I've well, I might be able to do it and only remove the, the bench right there. Take out one bench. We've got some flowers in the, in the way, a bush, but I think it's just the bench that's in the way. Unless I, now I don't want to kick it into there. Let me take a little moment here and try to get the right angle. So heading toward this, it's probably closer to that. Let me come back a little bit. Soapworks is done. Slow her down. And a line just fired through the place. So we're getting tight over here. This is just me being stubborn. If we took out that one bench behind the well. We could set it in a place like that. Let's see, let's rotate a little bit more. That feels pretty good as far as parallel to the road. I really want it to be right here. But I built a well there. Hmm. And we're getting kind of close here. I want to make it nice. I want as wide as that opening of the archway as far as a road out here. So it will work here by just getting into the, the bench but it gets tight over here. So I haven't quite decided what to do there. I, either I move all of this or I make it straight, which doesn't feel right to me, or we come up with something else to, to do in here. I'm not sure what that something else is though. You guys being torn down, or the, the old hay dryer, hay storage there, and we just fired, where am I? This one up. Ah, and that has something to do with two lines that took off. Soap works. We can do men or women. That's what I was hoping for. So if I say women only, uh, supplies, tallow, lye, and firewood. 
Let's do this. Um, let's hire two women. Worker by cart, worker by hand. Yeah. And two women. And for now, we'll just let it run. We're only going to go so far as we have tallow, and that's not very much. Then we'll be mothballing this thing for a while. But we'll get to see it happen. And I'm curious to see how quickly a couple of women grab these jobs. There have to be openings in here. It takes two to make the job work. Okay. So one grabbed it. The other one's going to be coming soon, right? I would think so. And you must have finally used up all of your logs. Yep, you did. Okay. Well, I'm tempted just to mothball this, this thing. I, I wish there was a way that I could move logs. I really wish there was. Because it would be nice to just use this for firewood production. For Because so many of the charcoal burners are right next to it. But... I never get them, or rarely get them to go and do some work. Chopping logs, where are you going? For firewood, oh, okay. I noticed instead of going out and doing those other building sites, they started taking out all of our fruit trees over here. Because <laughs> I hadn't set them to be protected. Yeah, they're coming over here to chop trees. They're not working the building sites, which is what I want them to do. So, I really don't want them taking this forest down. I kind of want the forest to stay. So, that's why I've been eliminating a... Uh, well, let them carry that last log in. And then I'm going to take one out and I might just shut it down. It's, it's unfortunate I can't move the 200 extra logs from over there into here and just leave one person in to make firewood. But that is what we're up against there. So, an unfortunate placement. I could move the charcoal back to somewhere else. That might be a thing. I can slow it down so I can think a little bit. If I were to do that, um, we've got a neighborhood over here. We've got a neighborhood forming up in here. So, there really isn't a great place for, for charcoal that's near this forestry. Now, now, I can almost make the same argument here. Another forestry, going to be lots of charcoal here. Unless we put the burners out here or something. Burners in town, this is a pretty good place for them. It's not too close to these houses. They, yeah, they kind of need to be near this firewood. But the only way to make this thing work is to lose this forest. Hmm... Too long of a walk to set all the burners out over here. This is where the burners need to be, near this guy. Though actually, long term, I can kind of see this going away. Mothballing it. In fact, I wonder if I should do that now. Mothballing this one and just letting one person make firewood nonstop. And getting the full labor out here right next to all of the uh, all the jobs that you know all the, the sites that need to be taken down except I'm worried that nobody will come over here and fill these spaces because of the distance problem I'm not sure what to do there could try it working taking a rest and working working means you're just sitting there doing nothing right now okay so we shut you two down how quickly does somebody come in and jump into that one? Um, you guys are needing logs. Waiting for logs. So you are... Getting a wooden log. Waiting for partner to get a log. Okay. So they're off to do that right now. Okay. So... Other two spaces didn't fill in yet. So, yeah, that's that's kind of a, a difficult spot there. We've got the charcoal here. It worked well for a while. But now they just want to take my forest down. And I, I kind of like my forest. They could take some of this forest down. That would be fine. So do I relocate? <clears throat> 
We could possibly relocate the, the lumber yard over here and the charcoal burners over here and let this community, which doesn't have enough jobs as it is. That's interesting. So th this really is the, the, the job area for this neighborhood. So get more going over here. And eventually there'll be a little more going on over here as well. We'll get the, the fishing dock in here and we'll find a couple other things. Does this game have candle making? I'm trying to remember. I've been watching furthest frontier and um, no candles yet. So we don't make our own bees yet. Only bees in the yards. Okay. We have an ashery though. Now what exactly is an ashery? Three separate separate types of products. Ashes obtained by directly burning tree bark. No additional fuel is required. Um, so 25, 200 units of bark makes 25 units of ash. Ash can be soaked in water to produce lye. Ah, lye, which makes me think of lime. So two different things. Um, each batch of lye needs 50 units of ash and 100 units of water. So that sounds like the sort of thing that could be done out here too with all of these well, the, the trees and, and whatnot that keep, could be coming out of this new forestry. And then liquid lye can be used to produce potash. Potash or potash? You tell me. By boiling it using firewood, it takes 100 lye, 100 firewood to produce 25 units of the mystery pronounced word. Okay, so that sounds like something that could eventually go down in this area as well. Um, and far enough away down here that if any of these are a problem. Where was it? It was here, right under illnesses and injury. Okay, the things that are no good are the charcoal piles, the smeltery, and the lime kiln. And lime kiln is far enough away. And the smeltery... The thought was to put that one right there. So they'll both be far enough away. Okay. At least I, I think that's far enough away. Should be. If not, I guess we'll find out. Any health issues out here? 21-year-old dock worker. Um, she is fine. And randomly, he is fine. He's making the long walk. Okay, so I don't think there's been any problems so far with the kiln being that close, and the other one's not going to be that much closer, so I think it's okay. So yeah, we could do the ashery or two over here, maybe have them each doing a different task, and then we could move the forestry over here and let them take this forest down. And then eventually use this land for something else. Okay. So concentrating this forestry, which oh, I see we have dropped into harvest season. Okay. To worry about jobs or uh, building sites out in this area. And this forestry over here, just to worry about making charcoal. And then we could place charcoal through this whole area. Interesting. And then this goes away. These go away. Other things get done in this area, or even more housing in this area, in, in those places, I'm not sure. Or maybe we bring the thatchery back, which is now having trouble, and get them closer to the, the thatch again. That I like. Okay. Yeah, this village is going to just constantly change and morph and adjust and balance. What was needed at the beginning for a small village now may not be needed so much its job is done it's time to move on and do something else okay so we are plowing we are fully employed with workers and are well when they finally get here because it's such a long walk to work then uh, we'll be plowing as well but once that first one is plowed, then we should potentially get some workers, though it's very likely that this farm is going to fail for three or four years. Very possible. I'm liking this idea. I'm going to set this up. So let's put in the... and I can kick the speed up and 
whatever is going to happen is going to happen. A forestry out over here and aligned how. Probably just like so. If I move you down, that kicks the road down a little bit. And I think that would be fine. Up against you. Now, let's give you room to move in and out of the forest on both sides. So, control R a little bit. And touch trees there, there, and there. And click. Okay. You. We already have enough workers to make this work. They, they live in this area already. And we have these two going in. Okay. So, you could move to where let's put you there and the charcoal pits you're right there and we don't have to necessarily start using these yet though once I set it can I turn off labor and mothball it is that thing you I could I guess I can uncheck all laborers yeah so let's go ahead and although if I uncheck those now, I can get them working in here, huh? What if I tried that for this one season? Laborers. Oh, I see. I could do that. Well, we, we got to wait for this one round to be finished. But if I did that, would that help us out here? We're calling for him now calling for far less over here. I thin that down. They're kind of shifting, moving around. You still have nobody. Okay. Um, this is mostly... Let's see. Hemp. Dracachi's back. Hemp and hemp? Really? Two hemps this time. Just worked out that way. And a fallow. Okay, and you're going to be a wheat. Okay, so we're going to have lots of hemp coming in for our our uh, tailoring industry. Where am I at, by the way? 40-some minutes. Okay, Dracachi, you want some more charcoal? Uh, we've got 9,000 available. Did the others actually leave? 6,000 of it did, so there's another one and a half carts coming in, basically, uh, for that last order. And I could sell you another 1500 1600 now. Interesting, that number is quite different from that one. Anyway, deal. Sell that. And buy more leather. I don't see it going bad. Sure, why not? Uh, cows, horses, spying salt, selling clothes are still not a thing. In fact, we're out now. But that once we get to October, so that should get up and going again. Um, we could sell you, say, 700 of that. That would be fine. That'll leave us 150 in town. Deal. And that is it. Okay. So that deal is done. You're old. You're waiting for the the season to end and the thought came in the comment that maybe we should make our mandatory um, planting season or at least the harvesting season at least harvesting two months long now that was something I did last time let's try that this time who else did I bring into that when I fired a bunch of people for October. I don't remember. You guys were part of that. So we could do that, although now we're just looking at one and one. So you're kind of no longer part of that. Okay. How are you guys doing? We're still just waiting for one. Okay. So you're busy just making firewood. Now you... Hmm... Boy, I guess I will do that. Well, we're not really robbing ourselves of anything. So if I can get one guy over here, we can at least continue to take some of these uh, these trees down. Okay, so you probably... You're the primary now. 
So really, we've shut the other one down. You need to be three and five. You really do. Okay. So at least while we're trying to clear out so many of these building sites. Okay. So you're there. You have got the one extra laborer at the moment. And there may be one of the very few that willing to go the distance. Could be as simple as that. Um, you are out of logs. You're out of logs. So there's no point even hiring you anymore. Okay. Shutting you down for good. Minus. You're down. So that's one more guy available. Maybe he'll come over here and work. Maybe not. Um, so probably don't need to say empty this. I don't need to clear this out immediately. I can just leave it mothballed. They'll come and take this as they need it. This one is going to take its place. And we're going to get a whole industry going here. And since I hit... I want to lay these out, but I don't want people to start auto-filling the labor positions. So let's set up some charcoal pits in here. And uneven terrain. There you are. That close? Do I have a choice? There is a spot right there. One. Two. If I keep drifting uphill. <laughs> four. Okay, and then you take you down to zero and apply to all. There we go. Seven buildings all shut down. Okay, so those will be ready for me to manually turn back on again since there is no seasonal hiring involved with that. Um, one last look. Still just one person helping. How are we doing over here? We have one fallow field, which was pretty rough so we'll see if it's able to come back entirely on its own otherwise we're done no more planting going on everyone who was hired here is still fully available we'll see if they manage to walk over here this far there aren't a whole lot of other laborer jobs out there so as far as them all doing other things i don't know what all the other things are we still have laborers here, but this, we're not calling for anything. Same thing here. Nothing's being called for. Those are turned off. Those are turned off. I turned them off of here. Turned them off of there. That's turned off. That one never had any. These are turned off. There aren't a lot of other laborer jobs available. So what they're doing right now, I don't know. Now the firewood also, or the charcoal is turned off. So there may be one or two still sitting out here somewhere. But these are all kind of shut down for the season. So the tannery is still up and running. Um, technically, we only need one person right now. So let's go ahead and implement that. Let's take you down to one. And you're taking a rest. Okay. Oh, and that is our Matsko. Matsko? Matsko. I, bet, I was saying Matso, I, th I think, before. Family. So, you've still got a job. You're the one who hired here originally. So, I kept you. And, other than that, eight kids in school. No barber surgeon yet. And, what else is there to say about here? I've got... We're into March. I don't know if anybody's been hired for the granaries for a while. Because there's really nothing more for them to go out and buy. Um, yeah, they're all kind of turned off. Otherwise, speed it back up again. So these all auto-built. They didn't go into the building queue. Waiting for March to get done. We've got lots of positions available. We're still sowing our first field. Need to get to sewing this one. This one is followed for the year. And you're one of our permanent workers. We've got a guy that made it out here. How did you guys do? Three hired. Good. And they should be out dropping trees. Okay. So once this one triggers... Uh, we already have a maximum amount of space. But a couple of guys have made it out here. Well, that's nice to see. Yeah, we are... An equal opportunity employer is when it comes to laborers. So I think all my labor positions are set for men and women and children. That's different from the worker position. Okay, you're done. And we are finishing sewing up this one. 
We spend a lot of time walking to work, though. There is that. Yeah. So you guys are working in a field, and you're done. You're working in a field. And you are... what? Getting more seed? Oh, you're done. Okay. So she is on her way to work on a field. Working on a field. You're going to work. Taking a rest. Taking a rest. Going to work. And getting a drink of water. So we'll have three here to, to try and finish this off. So I was, I'm just going to let it go. What happens there happens there. Yeah, I'm not going to go through and readjust everybody one more time to try to force this thing to work. It's just simply not going to happen and until this neighborhood goes in. Which we are starting to build now. With our one builder who's left. But that should trigger any moment now, right? I expect you to see a whole line there. You are right there. So we're waiting for them to rehire. And we want this group to rehire. Hopefully that happens. You are set at... I thought you were set at 120% out here. I thought I did that last time. Now that is workers, not laborers. Yeah. Um, here, there are no laborers for this job. It's only workers. But I thought I said that. Interesting. I thought I said that and these. 120, 120, and 120. Okay. You I'm not worried about. I'm not going to deal with right now. Interesting. Five hundred and a thousand. Somebody's moved a hundred and two hundred into here. Oh, I guess we still have laborers hired on over here. Okay. That's fine. So you've got five hundred and ten sitting in there. You've got four hundred and ninety sitting over there. All the rest of those went into here, and there's still 2,000. So we, of course, do need to get as many of these going as we can. That happens not mowing season. I think that starts in May. Will we be running in May? Yeah, we will. So we'll see if those higher up. Otherwise, this one emptied on its own. So among the jobs that are still available as laborers, these got dealt with okay um, do we want to deal any more with charcoal how are we looking at for charcoal charcoal there's still 13,000 in the system okay so let's not sell any more of course Dracachi doesn't want any more so how you sell massive amounts of charcoal on this map I don't know Dracachi's got definite limits, and I think they're the only ones that buy it. So working on this one, let's get that one going a little sooner. Right there, you're next. Let's get you going, get you torn down, which I probably could just get to right now. So let's make empty, and let's make empty. Make empty, and make empty. Uh, not a thing. Why? Because you are done. So demolish. Demolish. And I don't know where they're going to put the charcoal. I'm not sure. So that was one, two, three. The other one's up here, which is fine. And we could almost add another one out here. So here's another area that we could make charcoal near our 290 logs that are going to be firewooded out over the next two decades. So yeah, this will be a charcoal area up here too. And used by this, used by this. So that makes sense. Okay. That would be a great place for one. But there's a tree there. <laughs> Let's see about sneaking one in here. So what was that messenger and family is married and moved into a house so in here I don't see anything now pathway wise there are no pathways they have been making bricks that's why so there's no path out there so if I tucked you against a building 
it would block the pathway here, but making this the main path I think would look better. Let's do that. You're right there. Oh, did I catch a tree in there? I caught a tree in there. Wait a minute. Demolish. And slow down. So I can think. You unfortunately grab the orientation of that one. So let's try that again. So you're right there. And skip that tree this time. Which puts the corner right into the pathway to go into there. Okay. Now, removing a tree is not going to be easy here unless I rehire that crew. <laughs> um, it would look strange here. I don't want it there. I want it in the background somewhere. And that is the spot. But I don't want to block our path like that. So I take down a tree and I put on a couple more guys for a little while to take that tree down and move you to the top of the list. Let's see if I can get you guys to go and do that because I don't think those guys are going to come over here and do that one. So do I want to put another one in over here? Probably don't. I think that that will be fine. Um, who rang my bell? Uh, right over here. You are Marifa, which I don't know that we really need anything from you. Um, offering none of those and demanding no I think we're fine oh well we could do flour we really could we could do a thousand flour yeah let's do that so one thousand and deal and drop it is trading post right where am I yeah, trading post. Flower. Where am I? Right there. 1,000 temporary. Get that going. Which fired off a laborer. But... A laborer position, but not necessarily a laborer. 300 is coming out of you. Yeah, I think we'll be fine there. Okay. Um, that was that. We, we finished a house up here cool you've got 34 you have you're probably not near yeah so there's the other side of this balancing equation all of these houses were too far away from a okay too far away from a market it's not showing me that warning now because now there's a market market's not staffed but now there's a market. So this person can't get any more supplies. Maybe. Let's wait and see. Let's watch this. You are carpentry. Carpentry? Uh, you were probably working at the carpentry before, and that's probably going to shift now. Well, we've got a full complement here, so that may not shift for a little while. Interesting. But, uh, laborer... And you are buying goods right there. So you are buying cabbage. So you can get there. It's not very convenient right now, but I don't want to hire four ladies who could be helping over here. In fact, whatever happened over here. Um, we're already in the growth stage. <laughs> oh, we got it sewed. And we got sewing. Sewing still. Okay. Okay. So that one did get sewed, and we are slowly sewing this one out over here, which is going to be what this time? Some more buckwheat. Okay. Buckwheat. There's 1,300 buckwheat available, more than we can use it very quickly. So you need more variety, but really you just need time to go get it. And there it is. There's the potatoes, and you can grab that out of here are you carrying potatoes no you just happen to be triggered okay so you are buying food so you're making the long run to get the potatoes even though there are potatoes sitting right here but they can't buy it from there okay construction completed charcoal pile oh okay got that one done so in that case you guys can now go back to unemployment taking a rest buying food and 
taken a rest. Does it matter who? We'll do that. You are... Where do you live? You live right there. Great. Okay, so this one is now back to one person whose goal is just to take down this pile of 289 logs. Uh, no more seasonal hiring going on there. You'll be a single worker for the rest of your life. There's a crew of five over here that is going to be clearing all these building sites out much more efficiently now that they're so close to it. This is going to be gone. Laborers are emptying the building storage. Great. Which is quite a bit. But where are we emptying it to? Okay, then let's turn these back on. Back to... Oh, it doesn't matter what. I've never seen more than three or four working at any one time. Apply to all six buildings. And that gets a place for the firewood to be dumped. As well as employs some... Uh, some people who need some income. So these should start filling up soon. And we're going to start building, if I can click on it, right there, the forestry and get that going. So four guys are doing that. You guys are doing that. These guys are fully employed for making lots of fish. Great. This is not employed. The boats are in... Oh, that one's in trouble. This comes back into a employment where or when? October, November. This is kind of a frustrating thing. I really need one person employed all summer because it's it's pretty random when these things get ready to break down. It isn't just the beginning of season or end of season. There were two people hired there at the beginning of season, but this wasn't far enough down, apparently, to trigger. So unless I'm there to manually say, yeah, go get that one done. So instead of two people in there twice a year for bursts I think I'm just going to do this turn you off and one person well he'll come to work he will take care of this one you are where right now are you you're the one that's out here fishing yeah unfortunately so when that comes in They'll grab that one. Okay, so we are putting this guy together. Um, only one person's at work right now. And these charcoals do give a place to dump this firewood down. You are... What were you doing in the, or in the orchard? We're able to store firewood in here. Interesting. Because when you chop these trees down, firewood can go in there. So it's programmed to accept firewood. And they're moving a thousand firewood into there too. Well, a hundred right now, but that's where they're dumping the firewood. Fascinating. I don't have a place to put planks right now. You are full. You're full. Uh, planks. I guess we're just kind of waiting to dump them into building sites. <clears throat> I could just, for the sake of getting them out of here, put planks in here for a little bit. Right? No? Let's try this way. Is it just me, or am I not seeing it? P, planks. Now, they're called planks, not wood, right? They're called wood. I called them planks. Okay, so drop wood into there. Let's put 1,000, and that's what we need to get rid of this. 1,250. Okay, so make you 250. Okay, so there's a place to put it if they want to. Someone's moving 1,000 right now, whole cart full. Of course, now that this is built, I could cancel that one. Okay, so let's put three workers in here. Let's transfer these stats. So, well, I can't do that, so I'll affect that one over there. I have to do this manually. Okay, um, you will be seasonal hiring except for March and August. You will be three and one just to maintain 
firewood production for that month. Okay, so that's ready. Whoever is available in here can have it. How are we doing in the soapworks? We tallow firewood, not enough lye. Oh, lye. See, lye and lime to me, I don't truly understand the difference. And so in my mind, they're, they're related when in fact they're not. Okay, so this one gets mothballed. It's not going to happen until we get the ash burner up and running. So that is a zero. And the ashery. Is that something that we actually need right now? I guess if we're going to have soap, but we don't have a lot of tallow anyway. So it's not necessarily going to happen. But if it were to happen, we have a road that is going to form, come off of here and come down once I shape it around these trees. And... That kind of works as far as pathing goes. As far as spacing goes, two of these? So if it came down, the road came down, they came across. Catch. Catch you. And this one can go up a little more like the end of the road. Okay, we're kind of in the mud though, I don't like that. Is there another way to deal with this? Mirror imaging or something, I don't like that. You're kind of like this, but you need to rotate with the, with the terrain to fit, right? No, you just don't like it. Okay, so you're somewhere in there, kicked up a little bit. Let's do that and delete you and grab another one of you, put you in between. Hmm. I wonder if these two buildings could be combined to make it look like they're one complex. It's interesting. Who are you? You are... Yeah. Barvinkove. I have to really concentrate on these words, these names. <laughs> okay, you... What? Selling. Lime, but not lie. Glaze, wool, sheepskins. We're good on sheepskins and broadcloth. Potatoes to sell. Town storage, 1,200. You're one of the few that buys potatoes. That happened last year we're half gone now as far as age okay um can you guys you don't have potatoes you don't can you can go away now so I'll move you to there and make that go away um can you guys still get potatoes from all the way over here potatoes right there you still have 52 can you guys still get potatoes you still have 12 and you're waiting another hundred you can still get them even though they're all the way over here okay so that is not so much of an issue but we could get rid of are there more potatoes coming you are buckwheat this time and you are wheat hemp and hemp okay Let's get rid of like 800 of those potatoes. Uh, let's bring over potatoes. There you are. 800. And temporary. And let's sell those to you. And deal. Okay. You'll come and get those. Flour? Mm, yeah, let's do it. So let's let's go for the full 600. We'll sell that to you. We'll bring flour into here as well. And eight or 600. And temporary you as well. Okay. So that that gets us two ships coming at a time. It tends to be our pattern. Two ships roll in, and that feels right. Feels good. 
All right, so where am I at now? I'm hour ten. Whoa, man, you just—I'm just having fun here, and I just went way over. Okay, well, a couple guys are there. Where are you working, by the way? Waiting for a partner to help get a log. I assume you're going to take these trees down here. That's my guess. You're going to come down. You still need to empty somehow. Not sure how to make that happen. We may have to finish the process. They may not be able to back out of that. But then we'll have something else to put here, and I don't know what it is, unless it's an, another orchard. But we'll see. We'll figure that out later. Um, I think I'm done for now, then. I'll play with this in between episodes and see if I can't put the two together to make an interesting combination that looks like one big ashery complex. Yeah, I kind of like that. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye now.